right. They're all in for the night now. And they're in. Everybody's safe. I can go to bed now. It's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, here comes the rain. There we go. Storm's here in apparently. She was quite windy, quite, quite blustery, but it was much more uh, fear mongering. It was quite strong winds, but nothing here anyway in, in England. We've got the little uh, sparrows who are all looking for some food. I'm just going to check on our tiny Tim. See where tiny, oh, tiny Tim's having a snooze right there. No, he isn't. <laughs> Where's tiny Tim? Here he is. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, no. Little tiny Tim. He's, um, you know, it's a bit chilly out. I'm going to leave him out here for a bit because he just absolutely loves to be out with the others. Um, but I will be probably putting him back inside in the warmth because he doesn't have an awful lot of... Well, he doesn't have any fat, actually. And here's Max. Hello, Max. How are you doing, my darling? Sky Breeze is saying hello. Hello, my darling. Hi, Sky Breeze. Having a visit on my head. I love going on my head. Very busy nursery. Hello, Zebedee. Hello, my darling. Hi. Hi, Braveheart. That looks like uh, Batman right here. Uh, oh, no, Batman's at the back. And... Hang on. I'm going to get some seed for outside. It's very noisy in here. So we've got the little ones in the bottom. We have five chicken chips. Mum and Dad. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to retire these two. Okay, shall I come out? Alright, where is she? Where did she go? Right there. Come on. Okay, so Jack wants to be where Lemon Teller is. What have I got there? Can I go there? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Hello, Braveheart. Hey, can I go here? I don't know where to put you, darling. Of course, I'm going to check to see if there's been anything here. So, let me show them just nesting busily. Right, so, nothing yet, thankfully. I know it's ridiculous because I was always, I've always been uh, keen to see more, but this is a uh, time when I think it's time to draw this reading situation to a close for the winter. Right? What do you want to do? Oh, sorry, Prince. Sorry, guys. There's Prince. I'm going to let him out. And poor Pip, the number six, has been definitely drew the short end of the stick when it came to being fed and looked after. Mum and Dad really didn't, um... I think I might give him some extra food, actually. I've got some, um baby food. I might give him a little bit extra because he's so hungry, poor little darling. I'm going to put him back in the nest because there's no egg there. He needs fudge. Having a snooze. Jack, I'm very cross. I want you to feed Pip. Can I make you poor Pip? I'm going to work out what I'm going to do with these guys because I'm going to have to stop them. Um, well, I can't stop them breeding, but so Pip's come back out. Last pip. Ask you for food. Please feed your baby, Jack. Come on. Feed pip. Hello, you. That breaks my heart. Pip will be forced to feed myself. Unless Jack decides to be nice, but. All getting chased out of the nest. Okay, let's check on Sheila. Hello, you. I love my sweetie. But oh, look at the development of Hatch. What am I going to call? I've got to come up with a good name for our old one. Okay, I'm going to shut the door. I'll clean that out in a minute, all right, guys? I mean, they're just so comfortable in there at the moment. I'm going to clean that out. I'm going to move Pip in a minute shortly, but Pip is sort of busy quite traumatized so we're now preening so I don't really want to disturb it pip to clean the nest and um, I put it in the water 
she drank it luckily. And now we have the other bone starts having a drink. That's our squash attack right there. And um, obviously with the nest, don't change the nest every day. If the babies are in there, we just change the paper. Hello, Zebedee. Zebedee's now on my phone. Hello, darling. One of the fledglings. <laughs> Chewing my finger now. Please don't do that. I'll put a little Pip. That's Pip is actually 30 days old today because it's the 2nd of November. And Pip should be getting ready to fly. Pip should be feeding. Really, feeding himself. But it's just been, I believe, you know, because Pip's number six. And with four days difference between Pip and... <laughs> Watch out. And the other ones, um, yeah, I mean, Jack's just had enough. Mum's had enough. They're not gonna nurture them anymore. So it's quite a shame. I hate seeing this aspect, this part of the development when they're looking for food. I mean, he, he should be able to feed himself now. But I think we're a little bit behind in development because of the, uh, just because of the situation. But Pip was number six, four days younger than the others. And so, pushed out the way all the time for the food but I did check very carefully Levicello was and Jack they were feeding little Pip but um I'm probably going to supplement Pip's food a little bit with some some soft stuff because he's just a little bit behind so I'm going to put some food down there Pip should be almost ready to fly but you can see still it's just your feathers are still very young very under I've got Pip up here for Jack to feed and he just won't do it. He's done. Come on, Jack. He's Pip. He's always been so good with the little ones. Even when they've been developed, but he's just not looking after Pip. He's not like him, so no. Okay, so what I do is there's babies at Pip. Who's that? When they're babies, I will take out the uh, the newspaper, base layer of the newspaper. All this seeing as most of it I'll, I would normally probably try and get the clean parts but uh, tuck out the rest of it and put fresh nesting in short I'll show you short the nesting material I use called Hatch Wells Pet Products local garden centre very reasonable £2.49 for a packet and uh, I use that to on top of the newspaper, newspaper to absorb stuff, and then that's the nest, nesting, so it's nice and comfy for them, the little ones. There's Fudge, Fudge who's just newly fledged. There's, oh, that was Jack coming at me, but he didn't quite make it. Go, yeah. right, there's mum going back into her nest. I don't really need to do anything for Lone Cello because she's. She uh, keeps her nest clean when it's just her. But she's getting ready to lay another egg, as you can see. Um, so she's fluffing up her nest. And I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna do with it. It's Braveheart. I'm gonna do a video on you. You're gonna get your own special video, Braveheart. Yes, you are. First time in the, how long now? It's going to be two years in February, so it's almost two years that I've been breeding. I just, yeah, so this was here, I'm looking after the aviary, it's not my aviary. And uh, the birds paired themselves up, Jack and Lemoncello, and uh, so I decided to have a, see, see what would happen if I brought them in. Very green around the gills I was, and um, the rest, as they say, is history. I've, like Jack and Levicello are, I think, unique and have not stopped breeding since February of 2022. And Levicello is ready to lay an egg. So I, people say, oh, just put them out in the aviary and, you know, blah, blah. So, no, I care about them. They are just incredible couple and they do what they do naturally, what comes naturally to them. And I'm not, who am I to 
dictate what they do. She's there, getting ready to lay. Now, if I put her out in the aviary now, then, you know, it just would be cruel because she'd not have anywhere to put her egg. Ah, just, if anybody knows, has advice, genuine advice as to how best to handle this because I'm concerned about their emotional well-being because having just breeding is that they're, that's all they want to do. And um, it's a constant cycle. And uh, yeah, say so if I put them out, it's a shame that the Avery is not connected to this, but it's not. It's a separate shed. So it's not as though they can just go off into the aviary. Jack can't fly. Um, so this is a perfect living environment for him. Uh, putting him out in the aviary as well. It's November now. It's going to be miserable weather, guaranteed for the next few months. So it just would be cruel and unusual punishment. So I'm not sure. I've got to make a decision about what to do. It is what it is. Uh, I want to do what's best for the birds. And that's it. And here's Sheila's and uh, Prince's two gorgeous little ones. Here's Hatch. Look at you, Hatch. You saw you had. 10, 11, 13 days ago. And you. 17 days ago. There's four days difference between this little one. Which I can't, it's hard to believe. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Where are you going? Little oh, wonder last year, this little one. Is that called you wonder? That's a bit weird. Alright, I've got to come up with a good name for you. Hopefully, somebody will come up with a good name for this little one. It's just full of beans. It's like a bean. Beanstalk. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, we're gonna put you back in now. You've got a nice clean nest. Be nice and warm. Alright, yeah. Sheila's doing that little chirp chirp sound like a baby, asking to be fed. She got that from Lemon Cello, to be honest, I think. Where are you going? Right, oh, you can't go anywhere. Wow. So adventurous. Sorry, right, cut four. I've got you. Look at you. <laughs> Where you go? Okay. Where you going? Hmm? Where you going? Look at you. I'm going to call you Bolt. <laughs> you can run a bolt everywhere. Hmm? Let's put you back in there. All right. Come on. Let's get you in. Into your lovely nest. There we go, Hatch. All right. There we go. Here we go, Mum. I'll try and pip on um, some of this bird, uh, baby food. And just, this is a powder mixed with some water, just to give Pip a little bit of <laughs> something to eat. Just put some, mix some of water and see if you like it. Hey, right, Danny? Good baby, I think you like it. Good, good baby. Baby powder. Yeah, okay. I know it doesn't look very appealing, but let's see. It's getting on your feet here, let me see. Here. Oh. Here's Zebedee. Here's Mum Lemoncello. She wants to get back in her nest. Alright, hold on. I'll get out of the way. Look at poor little pet. Please, Dad. Zebedee is very, very um, affectionate, which is lovely. Zebedee is the most friendly of the fledglings. Let me just go and find out what Molly's barking at. You know, nature of it does its thing, and um, Pip is now deciding to have a go at the spinach, which is good. Very happy about that. No thanks to Jack and Lemoncello who are too busy on the next food, which is going to be tricky for me. But as Jack, Jack can't fly, 
his flying ability is not there. Um, so it would be just absolutely cruel and unusual punishment for me to just put him out in the Avery. Um, I do feel that I need to call it for this, for the winter. Even last winter they went through the whole winter breeding, Limoncello and Jack, and they just want to keep on and on and on and on. But it's just, no, got to, I've got to make a decision, I think. As you can tell, I'm extremely, hello, I'm very, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to make a decision about this situation. They're both in fantastic health. They thrive on being parents. Um, but, you know, there's a time when I have to say, that's it. But again, how do I do it? Because he can't fly. If I put him out in the Avery, that would just be ridiculous. Separate them would be, again, completely cruel. And it's their well being that I'm bothered about, not breeding. Um, the breeding is a natural um, occurrence. Uh, uh, this is all by their desire. I'm not interested in any money at all. As far as that's not my motivation for doing this, it's been purely uh, <laughs> purely something that comes naturally to them and to just, uh, yeah, enable Mother Nature to work. But as you can tell, they're both in there now. All right. Oh, what's that? Okay, it's a piece of paper. All right, she wants to lay her egg. And he's there with her. It's a time when she wants to lay. So, somebody's on the phone. There's Zebedee. And I'm going to just go up with the dogs right now. It's stormy still out there, but not that wet. So, I'm going to just all the dogs for a moment. All is quite calm in here now, which is good. And Pip is more relaxed, which is how I like it. That's all I want is relaxed, happy birds. It's Budgie Central 123. Please do like, share and subscribe. Uh, I've got over 600 subscribers, but I need a thousand to be able to do a live stream, which um, doesn't look likely now. But it'd be great if I could um, reach that point soon and do some live streams. All the other birds have made their way in. There was only Beaky who was outside, which is good that they've all been sensible and decided to take shelter for the night. It's still a bit stormy, that Kieran, it's so-called Kieran, which is a stupid thing now where they decide that every time there's a bit of inclement weather, they're going to just call, give it a name. And uh, uh, the south coast has, has done okay. I mean, I'm saying the south coast, there's Beaky. Right, find a perch, Tony, come here. Right, there you go, there's Beaky. So Beaky's in. There's Tiny Tim. There's Bam Bam. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Hello. Where's Max? Where's my Max? Everybody else is in. Nicely settled. That looks like Max. Is that Max? There's Max. Okay, so we're looking at Max here. I wanted to see the other side. I just saw it just now. Here we go. So that's the bad side, as you can tell. Stop it. No. There's Max's eye. It's, um, you see the feathers have grown back, which is great. So they're growing back. I don't know if her eye is going to open anymore. There's no redness, which is good. She's a special, special bird. And, um, but I don't know, I'm happy. she's quite, she seems quite comfortable. Yeah, so this is the hand feeding formula that I've, I've put together for little Pip. Now Pip is nicely sleeping, which is good. I can leave confident that Pip is gonna be okay. She's got plenty of food, clean water. And hopefully tomorrow we, the feathers will be a little bit more formed. And 
We have five of the six of lemon chill and jerk slash food. The fledglings all fledged. There's fudge up there. There's the, there's the fifth. And then of course we've got a little pip. Actually I might put fudge, I'll put tough fudge back in with pip so that pip's not on the uh, zone. And I've got fudge there now with pip. So they have company for the night. And there's Zebedee with dark green with the beautiful tail. Um, we have the minute bat is up there. This is Hedge. Hi, darling. Probably looks like you've got her. Yeah. And then there's Faith and Hope at the top, Aqua, and Sarah.